Hi everyone and welcome to Reading with Miss Jessa, the monthly show where we talk about books, books, books. Happy National Month of Hope. We've passed the one year mark of being in a pandemic, something we originally thought would only last a couple of weeks. While this may seem like a reason to despair, it is important to remember that there is always hope. As Amanda Gorman said in her a poem at the inauguration, there is always light, only if we are brave enough to see it. There is always light, only if we are brave enough to be it. So let's take a moment and look at books that help us see hope and inspire us to be it. April 22nd is Earth Day. It's a day we celebrate our environment and take action to protect the planet. While climate change is controversial, we can all agree that our planet is important. And You Can Change the World by Lucy Ball. Readers will find environmentally friendly recipes and DIY activities, as well as profiles on organizations and individual people who work to take care of our planet. You'll learn about little things you can do, like composting or having a plastic-free party, as well as bigger commitments, like starting a business for ethically sourced clothing. Each page brings fresh new ideas on how we can better take care of our planet and ourselves. Research shows that in April, May, and June, suicide rates increase. Seasonal allergies increase inflammation, which cause or worsen depression. Hence the phrase seasonal depression. It is important to know that however you're feeling, you're not alone and there's always hope. That's what Project Semicolon is all about. This organization works to educate people about mental health and provide support for those in need. In their anthology, you can read essays from real people who have struggled with depression and suicidal thoughts. This book may come as a comfort for those who need to know that they are not alone. However, it can also be triggering for anyone with suicidal ideation or mental illness. As the book says, the semicolon is used when the author has chosen to continue a sentence instead of ending. You are the author and the sentence is your life. You are choosing to continue. Whether you reach out to Project Semicolon, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, to write love on her arms, or a trusted loved one, please remember that there is always hope for a brighter tomorrow. At the end of the day, hope is inspired by action. You may think you're too young to make a difference, but that simply isn't true. Meet the teens of Generation Z, who are looking at problems and finding solutions before they've even graduated high school. In Generation Brave by Kat Alexander, you'll meet Nadia Okamoto, who founded Period, a movement dedicated to fighting menstrual inequality, Fionn Ferriera, who developed a way to remove microplastics from water, and Jerome Foster II, who founded One Million of Us, an organization that encourages young people like you to vote. These three, the 24 people listed in this book, and all the teens here in our own community will inspire you to make a difference and spread hope, one action at a time. That's all I have for you this month. If you enjoy the sound of any of these books, you can place a hold on our website at grantpl.org, or you can check out Overdrive for eBooks. Until next time, happy reading.